Namaskar, brothers and sisters. Yesterday I was uh, looking at some uh, sites. I follow some people who fight narcissism and, uh, and personality disorders. And there, there is a guy from America, very nice guy. Uh, his name is Terry Joel Jr. His site is called. So I was just listening what he was saying. And after in the comments section, I noticed one person who, who was uh, uh, making comments by the name of Lubav Upetoj Dimenzi. It brought me attention because that's a procreation language. It means the love in the fifth dimension. So I wrote just short comment in subocration as well Ljubav je sve što jeste it means love is all there is that's actually the, the free translation of the mantra Baba Nam Kevalem and surprisingly that person after I found out that it's a girl from Bosnia from Sarajevo her name is Vesna replied in subocration she said O oh, Bosnian language I have to make a uh, clear that uh, all these Balkan countries speak the same language, it is different in the accent. So Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, Macedonia, uh, uh, Montenegro, they speak all the same language. So she's from, uh, from Sarajevo, no? And she said, Istina, ali ovde govorimo o opasnom poremeću i ličnosti na planeti, ako je uh, narcisoidnost i arrogantnost. She said, that's true, that the love is all there is, she referred to, but the truth that we are talking about a very dangerous uh, um, disorder, personality disorder on the planet, which is uh, narcissism and arrogance. And I replied, I said, where did you, desi naučila, naučila moj jezik, where did you learn my language? <laughs> That's ancient uh, speak, uh, which has 30% of Sanskrit. And I was joking, I said, it's from the another language from another planet. After we continue conversation in English, uh, and I would like to read this conversation to you, maybe you find it interesting and inspiring. I said, yes, narcissism is a real pandemic. I studied personality disorders, sociopathy and demonology for years. Yes, it is very important to know the danger of this phenomenon. Nearly 40% of the people on earth suffer from some kind of this sickness demonic possession and the rest are asleep zombies, obedient slaves of NWO. Very sad and boring situation. Police and military are full of narcissists and psychopaths. All politicians and majority of the medical professionals too. We are at war. Psychological and spiritual, spiritual one, not biological. Morona is a hoax. It's a lie. It's agenda. The plan. Baba Nam Kevalam. And I added, uh -huh, your name is Vesna, nice to meet you. I had a look at your channel, very good work. Love and light to your sister, Baba Nam Kevalam. She started her channel fighting narcissism. I have, she has only a few videos. She, uh, in Cebu creation, after I'll make comment about that, that's very rare, a rare thing to do. The most of these channels are in English. And they are excellent people who know really a lot and help people a lot with their, uh, with their knowledge and, and advices. But there is no, in, in, in that area, in former Yugoslavia, there are no people who do are doing that. That's also brought my attention. She's, uh, she's very brave. She's trying something which actually nobody tried to do before. So I said, very good work. Love and light to you, sister. Baba Nam Kevalam. And she replied, Odličan govorn, great speech. Yes, da, ja sam iz Sarajeva, ali sam živjela 20 godina u Francuskoj. Rat i to. Yes, I am from Sarajevo, but I lived for 20 years in France because of the war and, so, and those things. My whole family is narcissistic. Mother especially covert narc, dark mother. So I used to attract big psychopaths and narc, narcs all around me. 
And myself being big empath, it was a pure hell. Yes, this is a war, she said. Then she added, thank you for your support. Nice to meet you too. Indeed, too much had happened, too much evil that I have to talk, to speak the truth, and I will do, do it until I die. Namaste, Baba Nam Kevalam. She started to use mantra, which I like, straight away, which I like a lot. <laughs> That's very good. Sion, people who, uh, uh, who accept mantra straight away, that means they have a Baba's grace. That's very, very good sign. Some people run away from that straight away. They never use it. Of course, we know who are they. The narcissists, psychopaths, so sociopaths. They, they fear the mantra. But people who immediately get attached to it, that's absolutely excellent news. Uh, then I replied to her, we share similar ex experiences. Only person who suffered abuse know what we are talking about here. You should spread this knowledge in Bosnia and other countries over there with the same language. There is almost nobody who does this kind of videos. I have seen only one psychologist from Serbia and she was very scientific about whole issue. You, Vesna, know 10 times more than her about CNPD. It's so obvious. Show your face in videos. You are a girl, that's advantage. You will have a lot of success, especially being very first one over there with this kind of work. There are a lot of, of these channels in English, but in Cebu Croatian, none. You are ready for it. Bring the light, the truth and awareness to the people. I know the same thing you know, but my path is different. Mine is to promote spirituality, meditation and yoga, also waking up people about NWO and false pandemic. Every empath has his own mission in this life and his own way of doing it. It's Dharma, God's will, cosmic game, or what is going on, we could call it also cosmic joke, too. Stay in touch with me. And she answered, thank you so much for, this, for these words. I'm a little bit scared to show my face on the channel because of all these demons in human body. They were attacking me big time because I'm speaking the opening eyes to others. And I told her, do not be scared. Demonic attacks are normal thing against empaths, but they are just bullies. They have no power. They are poor diablos who are losers and operate on very low vibration. Use mantra Baba Nam Kevalam. They run away from it. It is all illusion. They spread fear, but it, if you don't care about it, they are powerless. All this drama which is created in the world is based on fear. Once people realize that, it's all over. We will win. It's only a matter of time. Narcissists are demonically possessed. They are Satanists and only power they have is their mouth full of lies, verbal manipulation, word salad. It's kind of black magic which doesn't work once you see through it. It's a smoke curtain. They cannot harm you because you have power. They don't. I'm used to it. They come to your dreams to, to intimidate you. They turn weak souls against you. It's just a cheap show. Baba protects us. The most annoying are the reptilian enti entities. Just laugh at them. They are scared of vibration of love, mantras and truths. Be strong. Baba Nam Kevalam. And I add, and she answered, yes, it's black magic, always the same tricks. You have no idea how much you helped me here. Forever grateful. Then I told her, you're so sweet. We are all here gathering to help each other and spread awareness and truth. 
it's Baba's army. Victor, victorious and unbreakable. Nothing happens by accident. You must realize that there are thousands of people like us. This is only one phase which humanity has to go through to be able to evolve and raise vibration. You have nothing to worry about. It's a cosmic game. People are asleep and it's your karma, your duty to wake them up. You were born to do this. So take it easy, no fear and destroy the evil agenda and evil forces. The beast is bleeding and agonizing. That's why they, are, they rush so much with their agenda. Shots, lockdowns, oppression and control. They know their days are counted and they will lose this war. You can't fight God. They are pathetic. Human race is enslaved for thousands of years. Now it came a moment for liberation. This is all good what is happening. The final battle. It is unstoppable. Do not fear anything. You can only feel sorry for all these poor souls who don't realize what is going on. But it's their karma. So don't feel sorry too much. Unfortunately, many will die, but in the next life they will do better. Some will regress to animal form. It's Dharma. You have done this before in your previous life. All these people who follow sites like this are reincarnated warriors. Hopi Indians were talking about this in their predictions. Stay calm, smile and enjoy the ride. The fight for itself is a triumph, the victory. You are blessed, you have Baba's grace. Show the way to the others. Take them to the path of bliss. Ride free. Then Vesna answered straight away. I can't believe how much you understand me. It's like you know me for years. This is incredible. I had all these narcs in my, li in my family as friends, partners, etc. I was like, what the F I'm doing on this planet with all these fakes? This is hell. But there was always that deep faith and deep roots, root love inside of me and that warrior spirit that overcome all these battles and there were a lot of them. Very, very few people get me really. So all my love to you. She said also, deep inside of me, I always had a knowing that this is so much bigger than I think and that my role in, in it is big. That was a, a guiding light all along. A lot of battles, a lot. So I answer her, correct, Vesna, we know each other from previous life. N not only you and me, many others who read this, we are getting united. The force of light will prevail. It is important to fight this disease, co disease called narcissism. That's a real pandemic. I personally believe that it's extraterrestrial virus. It has no cure. You must set up strong boundaries when dealing with people who are infected. They have no empathy, so you must control your emotions. Don't let them to drain your energy. They feed on it, as you know. They are energetic vampires. We must starve them to death. It is hard when you have these sick people in your close family. I was married to the narc for 16 years. It took me five years to realize what is going on. We all have the same background to be able to learn and become narc slayers. It was meant to be. Somebody has to do the dirty work. <laughs> be proud of being chosen to do such important job. You had your experience so you could learn how to fight them. It's a privilege. If you, don't, if you didn't suffer, you would never be this powerful now. It has changed your life for good. This is the way you must see things. Accept your mission and kick ass. Do not cry for them. They have no solution. 
on their deathbed, they will get to understand who they were and will be scared of dying. It is not your problem. They had free will like everybody else and they have chosen to follow and surrender to do evil. Materialism has to do a lot with it. They will realize how they wasted their lives. Again, it is not your fault or your problem. It's theirs. And Vesna replied, when you talk, I swear it's like me. You literally see things and the world like me. I'm so not used to it. Like I said, my mother is a covert narc, psychopath, and the father overt narc. So I had these demons right beside me when I was born, since I was born. I was always the black sheep and I saw how much in fact they are afraid of me, afraid of the truth afraid of the light and also I saw one my ex overt narc he died not too long ago on his deathbed day before he died he was screaming and crying asking me and his mother to forgive him it was so sad to see this person who all his life was that bad boy who had everybody under his control, falling down, down, and he, he, he died in that pain. I'm telling you, I've seen it all. You really motivated me today. Thank you a lot. Mil, thousand, million puta hvala za ove riječi. Thousand times thank you for these words. So I told her, you see, they are cowards. The death is the, their ultimate punishment. They don't know that human consciousness, soul, is immortal. They think they can do whatever they want during their lifetime. But, surprise, surprise, suddenly all became meaningless. The overt narcissists are less evil than the covert ones. They are heavily driven by their ego, which is illusion too, but it's easier to deal with them. The covert narcissists are really evil ones. No contact is the only way to go. You can't fix an arc. You feel familiar with, with this, what I say, because the truth resonates with you. The truth is the only one. It's a power. The narcs are more afraid of the truth than anything else. They live in illusion, false reality, and will never admit wrongdoing. It is sad to see how they end up and it's frustrating for an empath to realize that he or she couldn't help them. That is the problem with empaths. They always think there is a solution and things can get better. Not with narcs. I tried so hard to change things, all in vain. More I tried, more attacks I received. It's fascinating, actually. We are wired differently, and it is very often difficult to understand this personality disorder for us. We must learn to live with this. To be manipulative, pathological liar and sadistic is disgusting for an empath. For them, it's a normal thing. There are special yogis called sadhvipras. There are spiritual moralists. They are the biggest danger for evil forces, narcissists, psychopaths. You are one of them, or you were before. In spirituality, the men and women are the, are with the, have the same powers. So the term yogi doesn't refer to men only. That is why I practice Tantra and not Buddhism. In, in Buddhism, only men can be monks, and that's wrong. We are all spiritual beings, regardless of the sex. Sometimes women are more spiritual than men, have more intuition and sensibility. Very often they are mentally stronger. My YouTube channel is small and humble, but I have more followers among women than men. They are more supportive as well. I love women. And I told her, 
also. De nada, cariño. The pleasure was mine. I'm glad you enjoyed this chat and it was encouraging to, and it was encouraging to you. I hope someone else will share the same feelings. Never give up, never surrender and never be sad. Life is a wonderful journey. Journey full of beautiful things and great people. Keep on rolling baby and kick ass. And she answered, Yes, indeed, the covert ones are more evil. You don't see them coming with these fake smiles all over their faces. I will continue to expose all this BS until the day I die. That's for sure. For too long, they could play their little dirty games in the dark and go on without ever talking, taking any responsibility for anything. No more. With people like you and me and many others all around the planet, it's over, it's over for them. I love your channel and, ma and most of all, I love your personality. You are like a son. Thank you, Vesna. You rock totally. I love it. Thank you very much, Vesna, my dear sister. I'm very glad you, fo you found this conversation, this chat inspiring. I wish you all the best. I hope you enjoy this little conversation between Vesna and me, dear brothers and sisters. I wish you all the best. Like I told to her, be strong, never give up. Fight back. And be blessed. Namaskar.